Hello everyone, this is the continuation of video series on Biochemistry Important Viva Questions. This video can be used for the rapid revision as well. Today's topic is PCR. So the first question is what is PCR? So PCR is the in vitro technique which is used for the amplification of DNA and it is known as a polymerase chain reaction. Then second question can be asked what are the components required for the PCR? So the first thing which is required for the PCR is the DNA sample which is need to be amplified. Second one is the primers. Third one is the deoxynucleotides. Fourth and important one is the thermostable enzyme which is known as a tag polymerase enzyme obtained from the thermos aquaticus which is found in the hot springs. And the last, it, last we need MgCl2 and KCl. So these are the basic components required for the PCR. Another question can be asked, what is the difference between tech polymerase enzyme and DNA polymerase enzyme? So the first difference is tech polymerase enzyme is uh, stable at the higher temperature while DNA polymerase enzyme is not stable at the higher temperature. And the second difference is tech polymerase enzyme doesn't have any proofreading activity while tech polymerase, while DNA polymerase enzyme has a proofreading activity. Then another question can be asked, what are the steps of the PCR? So mainly there are three steps of the PCR. First one is the denaturation, which is done at around 90 to 95 centigrade. Second is the annealing of the primers, which is done at around 50 to 70 centigrade temperature. And the third one is the extension, which is done at around 68 to 75 centigrade. Then another question can be asked, what are the applications of the PCR? So the first application of the PCR, it is used in a forensic medicine. Second one, it is used for the diagnosis of various prenatal conditions like cystic fibrosis. Third one, it is used for the detection of the mutation. Fourth one, it is used for the diagnosis of various diseases like tuberculosis and HIV AIDS. And recently, the variant of the PCR, that is RT-PCR, is used for the diagnosis of COVID-19. And the last use is, it is also used for the basic DNA research purposes. So these are the applications of the PCR. And the last question which can be asked from the PCR is, what are the variants of the PCR? So the first variant is the RT-PCR, which is known as the reverse transcriptase PCR, which is used for the amplification of the RNA. Second one is the real-time PCR. As the name suggests, real-time PCR is used for the quantification of the DNA. And over here, for the quantification, various agents like ethylene bromide or cyber green dyes are used. Another variants are the multiplex PCR and nested PCR. So that is all about PCR. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.